Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. I'm excited that you decided to stop by today and spend some time with me. I recently was gifted this huge box of window envelopes by my dad, and I decided I needed to try and come up with a few ideas on how I could possibly incorporate them into my junk journals. And as I was writing down different ideas, I decided that maybe I would start a new junk journal elements series using window envelopes. So hopefully you guys are all on board with that. And I'm still trying to decide how often I'm going to post these videos, if it's going to be every other week or every week. Um, I haven't quite decided that, but as soon as I decide that, it will be listed below in the description box so you know exactly which day to come to my channel and check out to see what I'm creating with these window envelopes. And for now, I have, I think, about seven or eight ideas, and I'm going to keep on thinking on some different ideas for videos. So for sure, there'll be seven or eight episodes of this little tutorial series. And yes, they will be tutorials, so you guys can craft along with me to create some different elements for our junk journals using the window envelopes. And for today's episode, which is the very first episode, the first thing that we are going to create are belly bands with pocket inserts. And so here are the two that I created for today. These two are done in a shabby chic style with just a slight vintage feel to them. And so here's the first one. I just love how they turned out. And again, there are inserts in them. And so you can pull it out. And this one, I just added a cute little shabby door, um, kind of a farmhouse style door and on some wood grain paper or cardstock and the cute little tab right there. And I did do some sewing around these, but you could definitely put these together without having to sew. You could just use glue. And then I also stamped behind the window so that there would be a nice little element once you pulled out the journal card, you could, could see something fun inside of there. And since these are belly bands, the backside are not decorated. And then here is the second one. Very similar, just slight variations on how I decorated it. Again, this one's very similar with the sewing and laces and trims and different papers. And so again, my thought for these were to be able to use them as belly bands. So if you were going to be using them as belly bands in your journals, you would just go ahead and add a little glue right here and a little glue right here. And then you would glue it down on your page and then you would also have that as a belly band to be able to stick something behind there besides having this extra little um, journal card to pull out and use. So there's will be lots of extra little journaling space or real estate on these. So if you are interested in seeing how I decorated and put this together, um, stay tuned for the tutorial. So to start off with, you are going to want to take a window envelope and I'm starting off with a window envelope that's eight and five eighths by three and five eighths wide. And of course you can modify your project to work with whatever size window envelope you have. And I'm making a belly band and currently I don't know what journal I'm going to put this in. So I've decided that most of my journals are usually under eight inches long. And so I'm going to maybe make this one, I think seven, seven and a half. Cause again, I'm making a belly band. So I'm going to cut this down to size. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my envelope and I'm going to cut off the flap, but I am going to cut it because I think I want it, my belly band about three inches wide. So I am going to cut it at three. And then um, again, I think I want to do seven and a half long. And because I want to do some sewing around the window envelope part, I am going to open up my envelope to make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to cut off just a tiny little strip at the top. And as you can see, it's really tiny. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want, but now I can open it up and then that'll make it easier. So when I want to sew around the sewing machine, it'll just make my life easier. So once you've done that, um, the next step is to pick out a piece of paper that you want to cover it with. And so again, I am choosing this paper right here. It's from Seven Gypsies. And I'm going to cut this to fit the front. So I'm going to cut this the exact same size of my envelope. So I'm going to cut it at three. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut a second one because I'm going to make two of these. And my original paper was 8x8, eight eight, and so I do have a little strip left over to use on something else. And so, again, um, I'm going to cut this one at 7.5. So the next step is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a window on my piece of paper that I just cut. And of course, if you would rather, you can just do some collaging and rip it up and glue it down around there. I also went ahead earlier and I took, since I have so many of these window envelopes, I went ahead and just made a template and I already pushed out the plastic piece that was in there just so I have a template so I know exactly where to make my window and so it's going to go right there so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on the back side of it because I'm going to trace on the back side so I don't see my pencil marks so I would just put that behind there and then I'm going to go ahead and trace with a pencil or pen whatever you happen to have on hand So if you guys can see, um, I did trace that template and the next step is to go ahead and cut that out. You can use an X-Acto knife if you want or a scissors and I prefer cutting with the scissors. And so what I like to do, um, just because I want to save this piece in the middle and maybe make a tag out of it, I'm just going to go ahead with a little stick pin or some sort of pokey tool and I'm just going to poke a few holes just to get me started. And I'm just poking holes right along that line and then I should be able to go in with my scissors and start cutting. And I try to cut just slightly inside of the line. Again, if this is too much work for you, I would just go ahead and rip your paper and just collage it down on the, and use different bits and pieces and collage it on top of your window envelope. I do have one that I can show you guys that I did already kind of collage like that. I just ripped up papers and just glued them around the window part of it. So that is a little bit easier, but I do like the look of just using one uniform piece and gluing it down. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So there is my cut up piece and it should lay pretty close on top of this envelope. And if it's not perfect, you can always trim, trim it down to fit. And I don't worry too much about little bits and pieces showing there. It doesn't really bug me, um, but you can always ink, ink it if you want, or you could put some lace or a decorative element right there to cover up that, because you can kind of see that little white piece right there. Um, but that doesn't bother me too much. And then again, for this piece, then you have a nice little piece that you can make a tag out of. And what I like to do is I like it to be more rounded to make it into a tag. So I'll just go ahead and I will just carefully on my edges just kind of make my own little round end and I'm just using this this is a crocodile um, we are memory keepers corner chomper and I'm just kind of eyeballing it where I want the round piece on the end so now I have a nice little round edge right there
So now you have a cute little um, piece that you can use as a tag. You can stick a little eyelet in here and put a string on it. You could also flip it and add a word and then add it to some other junk journal piece that you're using or put it in a card. And so I do like to keep these middle pieces for that reason. Okay, now I'm just gonna set this aside for some other future project, but I just wanted to show you guys how you could use that little piece in the middle to make something else. So the next step is to go ahead and glue down your piece of paper on top of your window envelope. And you can use whatever type of adhesive or glue you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some glue, some a glue stick, and this is a Yoohoo brand. And then I always have a scrap piece of paper underneath. You do wanna make sure that you have glue covered all over on this so it sticks nicely onto the window envelope. Then the other step I'm gonna do right away, just because I really like my edges rounded, I'm gonna go ahead and take my crepidile and edge each of the corners. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, you can just leave them square. So the next step is to go ahead, if you, are, if you want to, you can sew around the window envelope part and around the edges. And so um, this is why I do like to cut off the top so I can open it up. And I will open it up and I will sew around the window envelope part. And I will also sew around this edge right here. And then I will go ahead and I will close it up. And I will sew around here, down this side, and down the bottom. And you just want to make sure that you leave this part open so that you can insert something. So that's why when it's open, I sew on this side first and then I close it and sew on the other three sides. So um, I am going to let this dry for a couple of minutes just so that the glue stick doesn't gum up my sewing machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew off camera and I will be back to show you the rest of it. And then I'm also going to do the exact same thing on this other one that I already cut up to, so then I'll have two to work with. I just remembered one more thing that I wanted to do before I started sewing on these envelopes, and that was actually to add a background piece back here. Um, I don't like that when you have the window showing right here and you pull out whatever your insert is or your journal card that you're gonna be able to see this piece from the envelope. And so I do wanna put a pretty piece of paper there on this one right here that I did previously. You can see I glued down some book page paper. And then of course you have your little journaling card for your pocket there. And so I'm just, instead of using book paper, I'm gonna just go ahead and add some scrapbooking paper. And I had this really lightweight scrapbooking paper in my paper scraps. And I ended up having, I had three of them actually. They were all about the same size. So it's gonna work to put into these. And so I did pick out two of these and it's really lightweight. It's even lighter weight than what the envelope paper is made out of. So it'll be perfect for gluing down here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down inside of each of these. And I'll do one with you guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the sewing like I had talked about where I, once it's open, I'll sew around the envelope part and then also on the edge right here. And then I'll go ahead and close it. And then I'll sew around the other three sides. And again, you just wanna sew on this side before you close it up because you still wanna make it into a pocket. So you wanna make sure that you don't sew your pocket side shut. So I'm just gonna go ahead again and use the glue stick to glue this down and then I'll just trim whatever needs to be trimmed because this piece of paper is slightly bigger than, than, that, than this. So I'm just gonna take an old scissors and I'm just gonna trim off all the pieces, the excess pieces that are hanging outside of the envelope there. 
And again, when I glued the inside piece down, I moved it slightly over from where the fold was just so that there was no issues. So now I have a little bit of a piece of paper in the background. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this second one that I'm working on. And I will go ahead and do the sewing and then I will be right back. Okay, I did go ahead and I sewed around the window and I sewed around the edge and then I closed it and then I sewed around the rest of it. And this is what it looks like. And then um, I also chose to ink the edges with this Distress Ink, it's Victorian Velvet by Tim Holtz. I did ink my edges so it has a little bit of a pink color to it to highlight the pink in the paper. And then also before I sewed it, I did go ahead and stamp in black ink this rubber stamp and it's just kind of a script stamp. You can't read what it says and it's from a company called Just For Fun. But there's all sorts of companies that have script stamps out there. And I did do one where I sewed around it while it was still open and I didn't sew it while it was shut just to show you guys that you can also put these together by gluing them. And you can see here I already did that script stamp again and I just decided that I wanted a little something more to show once I pulled out my journal card inside this pocket. And so I did stamp that just for a little more interest. And so then for this one, since I did not sew it shut on the sides, I'm going to go ahead and glue that. And for gluing, I like to use tacky glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just right down here. Again, just, just a tiny bit of glue. And then go ahead and shut it. And then just to make sure that it stays, I'm going to go ahead and clamp it. And I'll set that one aside and we'll decorate this one. So the next step is we are going to create a journal card insert for a pocket. Um, very similar to this one. Except for we will decorate it I think so that we see something through the window where this one you don't see anything. We are going to decorate this one. And so I'm starting off with a piece of cardstock. And this comes from the Park Lane Company. And this is 110 pound paper, but you could also use 65 pound paper. You just want it sturdy enough so that it works good for a journal card. And I had this one already cut to seven, but I already know it's not gonna fit since I sewed it. It's gonna be a little too big, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit of it off. And I'm just guesstimating, so I just cut a little bit off and we'll see if it fits before. Okay, and so a little bit of it's showing, so I'm gonna snip a little bit off on the side and I think I'm gonna take a little bit more off just because it's kind of snug in there. So I'll cut a little bit more off on this side. And I'll cut a little bit off on this side. Now it should fit in there pretty good, I think. Because I like my corners rounded, I am going to take my corner rounder again. And for those of you that do have this one, I'm using the one half inch side, but you could also use the one fourth. I'm also going to go ahead and ink the edges. And I, because I do want something to show on here, I do have um, some of this paper right here from Seven Gypsies with the door. And I thought it'd be really cute to have one of the doors show through. And so I'm just going to pull out this template again that we use. And I'm just going to look at all my doors to see which ones might fit in there the best. And this one's pretty close right here. So I think, and that one isn't bad. That one would work too. But those definitely work. 
And so I do have all these pieces and then I'm gonna use this sheet of paper also from Seven Gypsies to decorate the front. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like um, before it's all cut up. And so I do have all the pieces in here. So this is one of those that I think would work for the door. So I think I like these white ones better and this one I can cut down to fit inside the window. So I think I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to go ahead and just ink the edges a little bit on this one. And before I glue it down I'm going to stick this back in here. And when it's in place I'm going to go ahead and just take a pencil and I'm just going to kind of open it up and kind of eyeball and I'm going to make a mark right about here and one about here just so I can kind of see where the edges are of the window. And I'll make one right in inside this corner too. And since it's a pencil mark I can erase it but I just wanted a kind of a rough idea so I have a mark right here, right here and right here. So then I know I can go ahead and glue this down. And at this point, if you guys wanted to, you could do a little bit more collaging, but since I wanna make this into a journal card, I figure you can still kind of journal along here and down here in the back side. So I'm not gonna do anything other than gluing down this piece right here. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and use a glue stick. And I just lined it up again on those little pencil marks that I made. I'm going to smooth this one out and I'm just using an old gift card. So now in theory, if everything got glued down right, you should be able to see it when you insert it into the envelope. And wouldn't that be cute if you put a little name or something on there? I'm not going to do that now, but if you were in a journal or something, you could put a little name or something in there or a date or something. So next, um, I just realized I forgot. I'm going to ink the back side of this too. I like both my sides when I ink my journal cards. I like both the sides to have some inked edges on them. Because you'll definitely be able to journal on the back side of this also. So then looking at these other two that I created before, I did add some different tabs to them and I also stitched around them. So I'm going to do the same thing. And there's some different ideas for the tabs. You can like cut out two, two circles or two different shapes and glue them together on the front and the back. Or if you have a punch or a die cut, you could go ahead and use those. Um, I do have this Spellbinders set and it's called Tab Set 2. And there's a whole bunch of different tabs on it. I also have this Stampin' Up! one. And this is a circle tab. That would work. And I also have this punch right here by McGill. This is a really old punch. And this was called File Tab. It's a 3-inch punch. That works too. So those are just a couple ideas. And I already punched and die cut some of these. Um, a lot of times when I have scrap papers, I'll, I'll punch out stuff like this. So here is that circle tab. And here was that McGill one. And the rest of them are from that Spellbinder set. And I really like this one from the Spellbinders one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Um, you can just see part of it right there. That's the one that we're using. Now for these, if I wanted to just glue them on this way, this it's kind of, it would look like this, which I don't like that look. It would work good like if you're using it on the top of a tag and then you stick an eyelet right there. So what I like to do with these ones is I go ahead and cut them in half.
like that. So then I have two separate pieces and then I'm gonna glue them together wherever you want. If you want them up top, if you want your tab up top or if you want it down low or in the middle, it doesn't really matter. And I'm also going to go ahead and ink the edges on this one also. So I think I'm gonna put it up at the top on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna glue this one up at the top. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use the tacky glue again. And I'll glue that right there. And then I'll go ahead and add glue on the back side. Then I line the two pieces up. And since it's, I'm gluing it, I can kind of maneuver it so that I like the look of it and it doesn't look, that it looks parallel there. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just paper clip it or clip it just so it kind of stays put for a little bit. And as soon as that dries, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to just stitch around it again. I just like the stitch looked. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to go ahead and make exact same but with a different door for this one. And so I will be back after I've made the other journal card and stitched around it to go ahead. And then we will start decorating the front. So I did finish sewing around each of these little journal cards and adding the doors. And again, the doors that I chose from this sheet of paper was this door right here. And then this door right here, I cut in half and used it right there. And I inked the edges, glued them down. This tab again was from Spellbinders. And this one was that McGill punch right here. I used that one for this one. And I just used a straight stitch, but I kind of moved my paper as I was going through the sewing machine just to kind of make it little, have a little more interest so it's not a st really a straight, straight stitch all the way around. And that's of course what I did on the envelopes too. So again, that's what they look like once I've inserted the journal cards. Thanks so much for joining me today for the first part of this episode. I would love to have you continue on to part B where I finished decorating the fronts of the window envelopes.